Hmm, pre-solstice. What do we do with pre-solstice? Why does it matter? What is pre-solstice about? I'll tell you, I'm starting my pre-solstice early right now because these two black cats have shown up at my house and have clearly adopted me and decided that this is going to be their home. And one of them, let's call him the kidney yawn cat. I'm not worried at all. He's got fortitude and strength and the sense of like, I can mouse through anything. And like that, that cat's going to be fine this winter living outdoors. I'm actually not worried about it. It's going to, it's not prissy. It's not privileged. It's metal has fed water in that it has taken stock of the situation and let go of everything that isn't here. It's the perfect Sinead O'Connor. I do not want what I haven't got but for real, with no bitterness, and just descending into the wildness within and the light and vitality on the inside that actually anchors a very deep intelligence. When our kidney yang is not doing that well, we face dark times and troubles and fear without feeling very smart. And honestly, without being smart, it's like, Oh, oh no, I think this is going to be difficult. When vitality is condensed deep inside, like a seed of vitality, it's got a kind of alive intelligence that allows it to navigate the darkness with no ideals. Metal has fed water. We've taken all of our ideals and just saved our values. So we're preparing for winter, although Kidney Young Cat doesn't need much preparation beyond what he's already done. Dispense with ideals, root in values, and hold that vitality as a kind of fire of cleverness. Now the Kidney Yin Cat, who's kind of sweet, and I think is a stray rather than feral, I think this cat has ideals. I think this cat is a little hung up in its metal that's not completely feeding water. And it wants a warm house and to be cuddled and to have a little bowl of food set out for it. And, and when it doesn't get these things, it's like, yeah. it does really well with the gentle soft life. Like given the opportunity to just rest and relax, it's got the yin. It will do that just fine. And our kidney yin cat needs to be very careful about creating the nesting times and places so that it is actually safe to fall asleep, so that it is safe to rest. Pre-solstice winter is a time when we are still moving inwards towards the point of rest for the sake of stoking a vitality that will allow us to face the continued time of darkness. So our retreat is not going to be just about relax, relax, relax. It's going to be about how do we create enough space to be able to drop in and find that point of regenerative vitality and guard that flame and blow on that flame because we may in fact be navigating dark times, cold times, difficulty. What I would like to be doing in our pre-solstice retreat is the precursor work for coming to a place of deep cool and deep courage about the things that, yeah, that's kind of frightening, isn't it? Yeah, that's difficult. Yeah, what needs to be in place in order to be able to look in the eye that which we do need to look in the eye from that inner intelligence and vitality and courage. 
So that's what we're going to be up to for our pre-solstice. And I'll even let you know how the cats are doing. <laughs>